Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Battlelight. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a record in the game, select Manage, click on Browse Local Files. Now, open the Battlelight folder. Here you can see uninstall BattleEye option. Make a right click, click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now once this is done, now here you can see install BattleEye. Make a right click, click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall BattleEye and then launch the game. During the launch, it will reinstall BattleEye. So, this time, make a right click, click on run as administrator on uninstall BattleEye. Just uninstall it. This time, do not install it. Now, go to Steam, launch the game. When you launch the game, during the launch, it will install BattleEye. So, here you can see starting BattleEye service, updating launching the game so it should install the battle eye service when you launch the game and you should be able to launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the config folder when you delete the when you rename or delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so if you want to create a backup you can create a backup for this open file exploring computer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. Now open the roaming folder. And over here you can see this bungee folder. Open this folder. And here you can see destiny folder. And this is where you can find the config file. So you can go back. And let's, uh, I will rename this bungee folder. Uh, let me close the game for now. So, if you want to create a backup, you can copy this folder, you can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can make a right click on the game folder, click on rename, you can rename it whatever you want. And once the rename is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game file. So for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Over here, you can see the game exe file. Now make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again and this time put a check over here. And then select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can even select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then in that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to, now, Windows security users allow the game exe file to, allow the game exe file to the, uh, to Windows security. Now, for this, you can open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, now click on Windows security, then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game installs C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder. Open the common folder. Open destiny2 folder. Select the exe file over here, click on open, click on add in allowed app, click on browser apps, select this launcher as well. Again, now open browser apps again, and then open this bin folder. If there is any exe file, there is no exe file. Go back, open this battle eye folder. 
select this B service underscore x64 and then type in control panel in Windows search box and go to control panel system and security Windows Defender Firewall click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder this PC C drive program file 686 steam folder and yeah steam steam apps common select all the exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select this folder click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open battle eye and then select this and then click on open and then click on add once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system then click on find and whichever is the latest graphic card driver you will see at the top geforce game ready driver whichever is the latest click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you have to run this exe file and when you run this exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue select custom option over here click on next then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next it will uninstall the previous version and then it will install the latest version so make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you have to restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working now amd card users uninstall the current graphic card uh, graphic card driver restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and over here select high performance now desktop users make sure that your display cable your, uh, your HDMI cable or the display cable is connected to the graphic card slot not the motherboard slot motherboard slot if your computer has a dual graphic card like Intel in that case uh, if it is connected to the dead uh, like motherboard slot you might face problems so make sure that you it is connected to the graphic card slot next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can this time you can type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty it follow the next step now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals uh, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller con connected to the computer sometimes we have extra dongle connected, disconnected if you have any kind of virtual uh, controller like Vijo etc uh, you can disable it, uninstall it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game and then check if you have any other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app uh, settings and then turn off nvidia overlay and then close all the over overlay application and then check also do not overclock if you have overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have undervolted you can be remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to run this command so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you open this as an administrator click on yes to allow 
copy the first command over here and then paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it hit the enter key now run the third command paste it hit the enter key now once this is done now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work restart your computer once again and after the system restart launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file this is important so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 install both the files so click on x86 run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed once installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next tip is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected when you update the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game if nothing is working uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so make a right click on the game and then you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel